Yo, what's going on? In today's video, I pretty much got the how to make the um. Damn, what is that? What is that thing called? The hell something? I think that's what it's called. Hell pull. Uh, honestly, I'm not gonna. Oh, hell hook, hell hook. Yes, it's yes. How to make the hell hook ability from Blade Ball and stuff. This is a this is a pretty simple version and stuff. It's not exactly the same, not exactly replica or anything. But I looked at the attack, looked at it from some YouTube videos, and then I replicated it and stuff. So if you guys want to include this in your own version of Blade Ball, or like if you're making like a Blade Ball like game, you can include this. I also have a Blade Ball series, which I show you how to make Blade Ball step by step, or like how the ball tracks you and everything, blocking abilities and all that. So you should definitely go check out that series and stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and insert a remote event into replicated storage. We're going to rename this remote event <coughs> to hook event, right? Then I'm going to let's knock out these the chain. Okay, so you guys know how there's a chain from and then the thing. So I tried using an actual chain model because I obviously wanted it to be like a real chain, but it was a little too difficult trying to animate all the little because you know like to make a big chain you have to have a little chains little chain parts that make up one big chain it was a little too difficult so i just decided to make a part this is just literally a regular part here are the properties and stuff disable can collide make sure it's anchored and then just name the part chain stuff is literally just a regular part that i just scaled right and once you're done uh throw it inside a server storage right and then we have a chain sound i just went to the toolbox went to audio and then just type chain and then there we go right and yeah we can go ahead and get into the scripting so let's open up starter player insert a local script right we can name the script hook script and in parentheses put local right we can delete print hello world first thing first let's create a variable for the user input service let's say local uis is equal to game get service user input service then let's get it let's create a remote event for the hook event so let's say oh say local hook event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child hook event right then i'm going to say uis that input began connect function in parentheses you're going to put input i'm a processed enter you're then going to say if input the user input type is equal to enum the user input type the keyboard and not processed enter you're then going to say if input the key code is equal to enum the key code or whatever keybind you want i'm going to go with the e key as always enter you're then going to say Hook event fire server in quotation marks we want to put hell hook that's going to be the name of the event right then we can go ahead and move on to the server script service we can insert a server script and then i can rename said script to hook script in parentheses put server then i can uh put my animation you can create the animation by putting the plus icon animation or just insert it boom you want to rename it to hook animation make sure it's parent to the server script and then you would throw your animation id in there you guys cannot use the animation id i used and stuff you have to use your own um i went to the toolbox and i just typed like throw animation so i just got like a throw animation and stuff because it's pretty similar so we can delete the print hello world right we're going to get some services we're using first to get the debris service to say local debris is equal to game get service debris right then i'm going to get the twin service i'm going to say local ds is equal to oh sorry sorry not debris local ds sorry so local ts is equal to game get service twin service right then i'm going to get the sound service local ss is equal to game get service sound service right and then lastly of course i'm going to get their remote event so we can just copy and paste this from the local script so just control c control v boom right then i can say hook event that on server events connect function right then in parentheses i'm going to say um i don't want to do this oh sorry i'm going to say player so plr for player comma event type enter first things first we're going to create a variable for the player's character we're going to say local character is equal to player dot character right then I'm going to set the if statement. I'm going to say if event type is equal to in quotation marks, you're going to put L hook, right? Then enter. And then we're going to get the start position. We're going to say local start position, right? Because we need to use ray casting, right? That we can determine if like uh, the player is like within the range stuff. Um, That is, this is the new Roblox AI. Pretty useful. That's not what I was going to do but that's cool, not gonna lie. Anyway, so we're gonna say 
character. Well, actually, the first part is actually true. I'm going to say character that humanoid root part that position. Then I'm going to get the direction. I'm going to say local direction is equal to character. Then same thing, humanoid root part. This time we're going to get the C frame. Then we're going to get the look vector, right? Then I'm going to set up the ray cast params. I'm going to say local ray cast params is equal to ray cast params dot new, right? Enter. You're then going to say ray cast params dot filter type is equal to enum dot ray cast filter type dot exclude. Then ray cast params dot filter descendants instances is equal to special brackets. And then you're going to say character get descendants. And I accidentally put the wrong thing. The character get descendants. I put a minus sign instead of an equal sign. To make sure you don't make the same mistake. Let me just. Okay, I'm good. Make sure you don't make the same mistake. And then moving on, I'm going to create the ray. I'm going to say look ray cast is equal to workspace ray cast for the origin put the start position comma throw the direction variable and then you're going to multiply the direction by whatever your range is so i went with 30 but it's up to you guys so say if like let's create an npc because we are going to need to test this so we click the rig builder then block avatar so look right so say if you this is your you know your enemy right and if you're about right here right say this was like 10 studs right this is like you know it's pretty decent distance but it's not like ultra far away stuff right so the smaller the number the, the smaller the range right so like 10 would probably be like maybe like right here while like 30 would be like back here and stuff so pretty much the bigger this number is the bigger the multiplier the bit the bigger the range will be and stuff so if it was like i don't know like 60 or 70 i could like be like yanking people from across the map and stuff right so yeah so that's so you'll set it to that you can play around with the numbers to get uh, whatever you're trying to do. Then I'm going to say comma raycast params, right? Then I'm going to clone, clone over the chain. I'm going to say local chain is equal to, remember we put it inside a server storage. So I'm going to say gain the server storage dot chain clone, right? And then I'm going to say chain dot C frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot C frame. And then I'm going to parent it to the workspace dot parent is equal to workspace right and then i'm gonna get i'm gonna create the end position i'm gonna say local end position is equal to works is oh wait hmm no uh-huh now well, I had a slow moment I go hojo. I just realized I forgot to change it when I was testing. Well, okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to go up top of my head then. Okay, so I'm gonna say if raycast, right? And raycast dot instance. And it wouldn't really make sense to uh, Okay, okay, alright, alright. Okay, so we're gonna need this, right? We're gonna need this. I just want you to Yeah, honestly, just cut and stuff. Or you could copy it, then delete it. With the same thing, literally use the same thing. So we're gonna use an if statement to throw it inside. I just yeah, I realized I forgot to change it when I was testing. So yeah. So I'm gonna have to change this to make this work. Okay, so I'm gonna say if raycast, right? And raycast dot instance dot parent find first child in uh we're gonna do parentheses and then quotation marks and we know it, so it's either an NPC or a player, right? And um Oh, actually, I forgot. I forgot here. So we're going to say and recast that instance. First, we need to make sure that, you know, it actually made contact with something. And then to make sure it can make contact with a player or NPC, then enter. Right. We don't have to worry about it making contact with our player because remember, we excluded it here. Right. Now we're going to paste all this stuff. So control V. Boom. Now we're going to, you know, clone over the chain and everything. Um, and then I'm going to create a variable for the end position. I'm going to say local end position. Right. Is equal to um I'm gonna say enemy character that humanoid root part that position i know you're confused i need to create it because like i said i'm kind of going on top of my head because i forgot to do this differently when i was testing it anyway so we're going to go up here we're going to go to the uh, right under the if statement we're going to say local enemy character you're simply going to say enemy character is equal to raycast dot instance dot parent right that's our end position then let's create let's create a variable for the distance this is how we we're this is how we're setting up the duration of the tween it works in the distance is equal to parentheses um we're going to say end position minus start position on the outside the parentheses you're going to put dot magnitude right and then we're going to set the tween we're going to say local let me scroll down a little i'm going to say local chain 
tween is equal to ts create for the instance of course is the chain comma tween info dot new for the duration we're going to say distance then you guys can choose whatever number you want i personally went with 35 but you guys can mess around with the numbers to so you get whatever you want and say comma and um same thing goes with the easing styles i went with linear as always and then for using direction of course i went with out then we're going to put a print we're going to put a comma into the parentheses and then we say special brackets i'm going to set the c frame i'm going to say c frame is equal to character that humanoid root part dot c frame times c frame dot new right and then i'm going to say negative one comma negative one negative 20 right or sorry not negative 20 negative 30 right the whole point is you want it to be whatever this is right so you're casting the way that far that's the whole point you want it to be yeah you want it to be like that and then i'm also going to times by an angle this is just to make sure that the uh, part is facing the correct direction c frame so you may have to change the angle calculation based on uh whatever angle your part is facing at like if you're trying to adjust the angle like because if it's not like you know facing the correct direction so I'm just frame dot angle zero comma zero comma math dot rash or for radians and then I'm going to put ninety right. And then I'm going to place that tween so chain tween play right. And then after I'm going to say uh, I'm going to get I'm going to use my sound effect and say ss dot chain sound play right. Then I'm going to set up the animation track for like a throwing animation. So I'm going to say local at show for animation track is equal to character dot humanoid load animation parentheses uh script and then you're going to say special bracket i mean sorry regular brackets quotation marks and then you're going to hook animation right then you're going to say at play i'll play the animation track then i'm going to also adjust the speed uh, you may not have to do this this is just because the animation i got is kind of fast so i'm just going to say adjust speed i mean to be fair it is a grenade so i guess it would be much faster than this but anyway so yeah 0 0.5 seconds right and then I'm going to say, instead of a function, I'm going to say chain tween dot completed, connect function, close parentheses, enter. You're actually going to copy and paste this. So control C, control V, put it to at the end, two, two. Right. You're going to leave all of this the same. We can actually change this to in. Now that I think about it, you can change this to in. As for the properties, um, we, we are changing the C frame. So the C frame, you don't need a multiplier for the C frame. We're just, we're sending it back to the player. So we can do it like that. Um, we don't. We also don't have to multiply it by the angle thing anymore. This is already facing the correct direction. So we can also delete that stuff. Wait, did I? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I accidentally deleted something. Or no, I should. I think I just forgot this. Uh, so yeah. Okay, it's good. So I'm saying time. The uh, parentheses and trans. Oh, sorry, comma transparency is equal to one. Because I also want the part to. You know slowly disappear as it comes back to the player right so i'm gonna say transparency is equal to one we're gonna play the tween and then i'm gonna use the debris service i'm gonna say debris add item right and then i'm gonna add the chain and then distance divided by 35 so that uh we can you know know when to destroy it right and then um What is left actually? Huh. Now that I think about it, okay, so yeah, so what I need to do is right. I'm gonna do it like say I guess like this. Hold on, I'm gonna think real quick. Um let me see. Yeah, okay, yeah, we go like after this. So we're gonna say test that way two seconds. I may have to adjust the time honestly. Kind of eyeball me yeah, yeah so now we need to actually do not knock back but like pull the actual effect that actually pulls this is just simply handling the animate that's all we've done so far simply handle the animation the chain and all the calculations now we need to actually make it so that the player is you know comes towards us right so i'm going to say local attach int is equal to instance that new invitation marks we're going to put attachment parent this to be uh sorry not character the enemy characters who need group part right boom i know how to spell so human root part then i'm going to create the linear velocity i'm going to say local linear velocity is equal to instance dot new station minus linear velocity parent this to the attachment enter you're then going to say linear velocity dot max force is equal to five nines two three four five right then i'm going to say linear velocity dot vector velocity is equal to in uh, parentheses we can really copy and paste this um if i'm 
actually no never mind never mind, never mind. So we're gonna say character dot humanoid root part hey oh i just realized we can save ourselves so much time i just realized if i just do start position yeah i just realized that oh there's a start position yeah if i just do start position yeah and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm just in minus m position oh yeah, yeah i didn't think about that start position minus m position because it's the enemy characters you know yeah okay but so we'll just do like that save ourselves some time go on the outside you can put dot unit times vector three that new in parentheses you're gonna put 40 comma zero comma 40. The reason for this is that the z value is so that they come towards this say if like you're at an angle where like you're like you're not facing straight like you're not your character isn't facing straight directly towards them like you may be angled where like you're a little tilted like you're tilted to the left or the right this is to ensure since x is left or right x axis is left and right this is to ensure that they come towards you and are facing the correct direction you obviously wouldn't need to modify y because y is up and down so i wouldn't really well i mean i guess if like i mean i guess if like they were in the sky i guess it, like the point is if you want to add it you can i wouldn't really see why you need to honestly but yeah then i'm gonna say linear velocity to attachment zero is equal to attachment then use the debris service ds add item i'm gonna say attachment comma zero point one seconds and boom so if that guys we're done we can go in and test to make sure this works as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link can be linked to, uh both of those options can be found to, um in the description stuff if you're interested but yeah let's go in and test okay so if i press e boom okay so everything i just put in just speed wrong okay Seems to be working good so far, but it's not necessarily all the things we need to test. Okay, so I forgot the S. So make sure you're make sure you're not stupid like me and make sure you include the S. Okay, let's see now. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So it is pulling. Okay. So it is pulling them towards me. Okay. Okay. So it is a little laggy for some odd reason. Oh, I think it's because it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's because, yeah. It's probably a better performance way to do this, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hold you guys. It's probably a better performance way. But this is just generally this... This shows you This shows you just how to bring them towards you, I guess. Oh, I see what it... Oh, I see what the problem is. It's this. I see what it is now. It's this. That's the problem. It's, it's the laying it. Okay. So, like, I did say we would probably have to change that time anyway. So let's see what one second looks. Let's see what like one second is talking about. Let's see. Okay, because I want it to be in sync with the animation. Okay, so like zero point eight seven, zero point six man. But look at zero point five. But then I feel like it'd be a little too early. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's see. Yeah, it's better. But zero point five is probably better. So yeah, so just the time as need be, I'm gonna leave it at 0 0.5 for me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I have a video on how to make a, I have like three, a three part series on how to make a blade ball game. You guys can definitely go check that out if you're interested in stuff. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoy, definitely leave a like and subscribe and stuff. Uh, at least don't leave a comment if you want me to, you know, make more content like this. I for sure, got y'all and stuff. We got y'all more blade ball con, blade ball content and stuff. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video.